Yo, I don't know what the deal is with the Renegade Raider standing here, but she just pulled out of absolutely nowhere and said if you guys didn't leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel in the next 7.2 seconds, she was going to do something pretty insane. And looking at the pump shotgun she's holding, I really wouldn't doubt her. So just leave a like and subscribe. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Sci-Fi here coming at you guys again today with a brand new Fortnite video. If you guys checked out the last video, it was actually confirmed Marie was arrested and I got some really weird messages from Marie's account on Instagram and it was actually from her mom her mom is on something i swear to it because she is being wild she's telling me that i gotta help her get marie out of like juvie and i'm like are you okay lady that is never gonna happen that video was so crazy but this video is even crazier because marie's mom actually came to my house and did something crazy she basically hit me up today saying that she would do anything in the world if i helped her get marie out of juvie and i was basically sitting there telling her uh absolutely not I would never do that. I don't want that at all. The only thing I want is for Marie to sit in juvie. So like, she can't really give me that if I help her get her out. She's like insisting nonstop that she'll never let Marie talk to me again and all this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no actual way this lady's saying it because when Marie wasn't in juvie, Marie was doing this stuff every single day and her mom didn't do anything about it. So now if Marie did get out, she's gonna be a lot more mad than she was before because now she actually had to go to juvie for this stuff. So I will do absolutely everything in my power to keep Marie in juvie for as long as possible because she's honestly a psychopath. Near the end of this video, something insane happened and I, I, I don't even know how to explain it, to be honest. It's, it's crazy. It blew my mind because I didn't think that Marie's mom was as crazy. I knew she was wild and a little bit messed up, but like she's doing some stuff like Marie would do. But I don't want to spoil any of that for you guys. So make sure you guys watch all the way to the end of the video. You guys will not be upset. Please leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel if you guys are new use code sci-fi in the fortnite item shop and enjoy the rest of this video yo knack bro what's going on dude nothing much bro what about you uh honestly bro i'm just chilling but dude marie's mom is straight wild bro like at this point it, it's nuts dude like what's she doing well you know like everything that happened yesterday when she messaged me and was like telling me that she wanted me to help her get marie out of juvie and i was like yeah not happening you crazy lady you need to just you know back off leave me alone well today she hit me up kind of on the same level but like she, this time she was like begging and and then, bro, I'm not even gonna lie, she came to my house. Bro, what, like, what happened? Because th there's gotta be more than that, like, the way that you're, like, explaining this. Because, like, you, it sounds like you're kind of, like, freaking out. Well, bro, when she came to my house, it's what she did when she was here. And it's nothing like that was gonna hurt me or, like, anything that Marie was doing or, like, hurt anyone I know or anything like that, bro. But it's just, it's it's weird it's creepy and i didn't want anything like this to happen dude like what did she do because it sounds like it's pretty bad oh bro it is but let me tell you okay like i'll just tell you everything she said because she was saying some crazy stuff like i said and then when she came to my house she was doing some crazy stuff and bro honestly it was like it was taken way too far today dude by the way you're explaining it it sounds like it got taken way too far like i've got to hear what happens bro yeah well she hit me up and just said so are you going to help me or not and i don't know why she's even asking this because i'm pretty sure i was clear yesterday that i wasn't going to and i said i'm gonna take the or not option she deserves to stay there because let's face it as much as like yeah that's her daughter she wants her daughter out like does she really want her daughter out like her daughter is crazy and she got put in there for a very good reason so she does deserve to stay in there and she said don't say that about my daughter and i thought she was gonna be like really pressed after i said that and the way she said don't say that about my daughter i was like okay i made her mad which is never good to make someone that's related to marie mad but she actually wasn't that mad after all of it i said after everything she did you're lucky that's all i'm saying because i had so much more i would love to say about marie but i kind of bit my tongue because like marie's not here so i don't really want to talk about her behind her back i'm not that type of person especially to her mom like yeah she did all of this stuff but at the end of the day like she's locked up now so she can't do anything so there's no point to even like continue talking about her and she said fine whatever but will you please help me like sh dude she's legitimately begging me to and i said no not happening like i i don't know what this lady doesn't get by no like no literally means no i'm not doing it no matter what you say and then bro this is like when she started begging like hardcore she said i'll do anything what do you want and the first thing that came up in my mind when she asked what do you want i said what i want more than anything is for your family to leave me alone that's all i've ever 
wanted since Marie started. Because let's face it, dude, over a year ago, Marie was like introduced into my life and I've yet to be able to get rid of her. I don't know how to do it. And I finally did. And this lady's asking me to, you know, bring her back. I'm like, are you good? Like, uh, what? So the only thing I want is for her and her family, who is also crazy, to just, you know, pack up shop, just leave, get out of here. And she said, well, that can't happen unless Marie is out. If you help me, I'll make sure she never talks to you again. And bro, I was thinking to myself, like, what are you even talking about? If she's out, she's not going to do it. If anything, she's way more mad now because she actually got locked up this time. She actually had to go to juvie and like her mom never stopped her before. So why would her mom stop her this time when Marie's even more enraged at me? You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Well, then I said, yeah, you couldn't control her before all of this. What makes you think when she gets out, it's going to be any different because it's literally not like I said, she's just going to be even more mad that she got like put in juvie for it. And she's going to be trying to do like a lot crazier things. So it's just a safer route to just leave her in there. Let her do whatever she's got to do in there. And when she gets out, hopefully I'm long gone out of her memory. And she replied with, because I am her mother, she will listen to me. And again, I say, no, she won't. Cause uh, you did absolutely nothing about it the first time. And it, it just makes no sense. I said, yeah, still not happening. Have a good day. Like I was just trying to stop talking to her right there because like at this point, what's the point of continuing to talk to her? She wants one thing. I want a different thing and we're never going to see eye to eye on the situation. So it's better to just leave it where it's at. She said, no, please help me. I will do in all capital letters anything. And I said, I told you what I wanted. And she said, I have something else in mind. And this is where I kind of got freaked out because like the whole mysterious message thing, like saying, oh, I got an idea, but then doesn't explain the idea. Marie does the same exact thing and it never turns out to be good. I said, um, what does that mean? And bro, listen to this. She said, can't ruin the surprise. Like what? Bro, what, what is she planning here? Like, what, what I'm, I kind of want to know what the surprise is because it can't be good at all. Bro, there, there's literally no way it can be good. And to be honest, it, it wasn't good. I'll tell you that right now. But I replied with, there's no way right now. Because bro, whenever Marie said this, like I said, nothing ever good came out of it. So I was like, nah, we can't be doing this right now. There's no way you're doing this too. I really thought it was over. All I said after that was, please leave me alone. Because I was like, nah, there's... There's absolutely no chance in the world that I'm going to let anything like this happen. I can't let it happen. It's beginning to be like way too crazy. And I don't want to deal with her mom too. And uh, I said, please leave me alone. Like I said, and she read the message, but she never replied. And uh, about two hours go by. This was all, this was all this morning, like pretty early. Um, two hours after she read the message, um, someone knocked on my door and I didn't recognize the face when I looked through the people. And bro, I, I opened the door, right? Apparently it's it's Marie's mom. And she was like, will you please help me? And when she said that, I knew exactly who she was. I was like, yo, this is not cool. You can't just show up here. She's like pleading with me, telling me she'll do anything like kind of like she was doing in the messages. And I was like, no, not a chance. And I went to close the door and she stopped me from closing the door. Bro, this is, this is, <laughs> buckle up here she stopped me from closing the door leaned in and literally kissed me and said what about now bro what like why does she think her kissing you is gonna make you want to help her get her daughter out of juvie like that's gonna make you not want to help her even more bro that's what i'm saying i was like lady i don't know if you like thought that was gonna work or anything you're no like a uh, disney princess here i just want you to leave so after she did that and she said what about now i looked at her and i said yo get off my porch and i closed the door so i think she got the message that that was definitely not the surprise that i wanted maybe like if she would have showed up to my house and been like i'm moving to cancun or something i would have been like have a great time there please never come back and like that would have been a great surprise but no it was the worst surprise i could have gotten